A newly minted Thai Deputy Prime Minister says he will act as a necessary check on Premier Prayut chan a former coup leader who now leads a democratically elected government. Anutin chan Virakun is one of five deputies to Mr. Prayut, and he is also Health Minister and leader of the Bung Jai Thai Party. Mr. Anutin says the coalition government has vowed to work together and bring political stability and progress to Thailand. He was speaking exclusively to our correspondent May Wong in Bangkok. It's his first interview with foreign media since taking up his position in the cabinet. We have to make sure that we work together with the goal of benefit, benefiting the, the, the country and the people only. Then uh, there will be no hidden agenda among each other. And this, this has been the way that I have worked with my coalition parties, not only the Prime Minister himself, but also other colleagues in the government. And I have found another good sign of the Thai government that will, in the new manner, in the new regime, I'm confident that together we will be able to progress this country to, to the point that we all expect. You mentioned the coalition government. It is currently being viewed as unstable, currently being viewed as being weak. What can you do to ensure that there will be no disruptions or, for that matter, there will be no complete breakdown of the coalition going forward? As long as we know that we have to stick together and work in collaboration. In terms of instability, you talk about arithmetic, you talk about numbers, but you know, we don't rule by numbers, we rule by integrity and intention. If we govern this, you know, all the work and policy in, in in the positive aspect, what can go wrong? If the need arises, if there were some discrepancies or irregularities, will you be willing to speak out and break away from the coalition if necessary? Now I'm working under the Prime Minister, so uh, as long as he is doing things with, again, integrity and with moral, I have no other choice but to support him. As long as he stays within the code of conduct, he stays within what he vowed that he would work for this country, I have no reason to go against him. Of course, if he sway out of the frame of integrity and transparency, then that's, that, that would become uh, a different issue. And we have to take take the right step from them. But uh, up to now, I, I haven't uh, felt that it would go to that negative direction. You have spoken out against corruption before, rather passionately, that you want to get rid of corruption. How totally. problematic is it still today? And what do you intend to do, aside from cutting red tape, to minimize corruption? All the laws in Thailand will end up with the phrase, up to the discretion of the minister in charge. What does discretion mean today? You cannot depend on one individual to determine the future of the investors. And to me, discretion is the root of cause of corruption. Once you have discretion, it is very likely that you have to take side and that initiates corruption and that and the corruption the word corruption kills thailand so we need to kill corruption not kill thailand my party has enough uh, members that we can propose the law and i think if we produce good law transparent law which helps eradicating uh, uh, corruption in Thailand who dares not support. But given the historical baggage of Bum Jai Thai Party, how can you convince the Thai citizens that you are dead serious in tackling corruption in this country? 
me, myself, and the fellow members of my party, everyone who came to apply themselves to become, that they wish to become an MP, they had to uh, uh, get my approval for being candidates. I'm not blind. I have instinct. I have. Uh, how you call? I have uh, integrity, and I know that I I will only have to work with uh, competent people. I don't take uh, corrupted uh, people on my bus because it w he will slow me down. And that was Anutin Chan Virakun, one of Thailand's deputy prime ministers. The exclusive interview with CNA's Mei Wong in his first interview with foreign media since taking up his position in the cabinet.